Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, just a review, a quick one on sections 1.1 to 1.8. I am not going to uh, show you the solutions, I'm just going to give you the answers. And I did these, uh, you know, I hear this a lot, uh, uh, I did these in my head, and I did. So I could have made a mistake on these, and if I did, I'd appreciate an email, you guys. So just just respond in the video below. If, uh, that would be that would be great, and I can I can adjust that. Okay. So so for, first of all, let's add or subtract, you guys. So let's uh, and then I would pause this video as you're doing this, you guys. I I don't have time to pause it here. So add or subtract these guys, okay? And again, you're going to pause and try these on your own, and then I got these as my answers, okay? All right, and then uh, evaluate, okay? And then again, you're going to pause and and see if you can get the correct answer. And this is what I got, okay? How about this one? Okay, pause it, and this is what I got. Okay, here's the next one. Okay, pause it. That's what I got. <laughs> So let's try this. Multiply or divide. Okay, so we're going to multiply on the first one and, and divide on the second one. So negative 5 times negative 6 is 30. And then negative 42 divided by a positive 3 is a negative uh, 14. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. So write an expression or equation that represents each. Okay, sodas cost uh, $1 each and burgers are $2 each. Okay, so I did S for sodas and B for burgers. Okay, so I just did 1s plus 2b. There's an expression that represents that. So, so this will represent all combinations of sodas and burgers, okay? And then uh, this part says uh, you spend $45 on the above, okay? So you, you and a group spend $45, not just you, because you can, that'd be a lot for one person. So you and some friends or something spend 45 bucks. So give an equation, okay? So you just set that top equation equal to 45. Okay, so give a combination of the above equation. Well, there's all kinds of combinations, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that be up to you. But, you know, if I did, say, like I did uh, 20 burgers, that'd be 40 bucks. So I'd have five bucks left over, so five sodas. Okay, so 20 burgers is, you just double that, you guys, because burgers are double. Or if I did 15 burgers, that'd be 30 sodas. So 15 burgers and then 15 sodas. That would be a, the appropriate one. Everybody gets a burger and a soda. 15 burgers would be 30 bucks. And then 15 sodas would be 15 bucks. 15 plus 30 would give me 45. Okay. Those are just a one of many examples. Okay. Evaluate each, you guys. So let's evaluate this. A pause it. Okay. And they should come up with 18. At least that's what I did. And again, if I made mistakes, please, please comment. Okay. All right. Here. All right. I get negative 20. Okay, how about this one? Okay, here, I get 41. Again, comment. If I made a mistake, you guys, check your answers, check my answers, you guys. I make mistakes all the time. Doesn't your math teacher make mistakes all the time? I bet he or she does. I do all the time. My kids are constantly correcting me. Okay, so combine like terms. Okay, here, you're going to combine like terms, and you get negative 12x plus 43. Okay, here, again, hopefully you're pausing it, and that's what I get. Okay, solve each equation. All right, so here's one. That's easy enough. Here's one. Uh, there's the answer. Okay, here's one. And that's what I got. How about that one? Okay, that's what I got. Got a couple more. How about that one? There we go. One more. Okay, and that's what I got. Uh, I hope this video was helpful, you guys. Take care, everybody.